Hi, I'm Amy, and this is my husband, MJ, and our five boys, Bobby, MJ, Stryker, Nottis, and Rebel. And together, together we, we are Motherhood Sailing. Sailing. We left our home in Florida on a journey of a lifetime aboard our 50-foot sailboat, living and traveling by sea. Stowing memories and pursuing an education outside of the classroom. So hit the subscribe button and hop aboard for an off-the-wall odyssey. And if you're going to do something, do it now, because tomorrow is too late. Episode 77, Leaving Escudo de Ferraguas. I said it. You said it successfully. We are leaving Escudo in the afternoon at like 4.30 because just suddenly a squall had passed us by and it just churned up the whole anchorage. Okay, just a little nudge, a little incentive to leave. It, yeah. From the exposed side of the island from the south, the wind picked up about 20 knots and started to get kind of... Seas picked up. Like, kind of rolly and bumpy and was like, okay, time to go. Yeah. So we started the motor. We're just going to pull the anchor and head on our next passage, which is a 115 mile journey. It's like 4.30, we'll be pulling out here around 5, so we'll probably get there, I don't know, tomorrow afternoon, around this time. I don't want to leave. I want to stay another day because I don't feel good and I need to get better, but because it's so choppy and the prevailing winds are from the south, this isn't a good spot to be uh when this because ha this happens so she's really pissed off <sighs> in and out of fever don't feel good honestly I can't even sleep when I lay down I just get sick I have to get up my body's achy it's been going on for like three days nothing's popping up in my AIS but I just walked outside and uh, there's definitely a boat ahead of us out. I guess I'll we'll find out. Nine hours, 45 minutes to go. So it should be around midday. I'll be in quickly. So it was an overnight passage, pretty miserable. Um, and then the next morning we woke up and basically we're passing or coming upon the Panama Canal, which was pretty crazy to see. Cologne, Panama, entrance to the Panama Canal, Caribbean Sea. So many ships were stacked up outside. It was nuts. We probably had like 200 AIS targets. It was crazy. We were picking up uh, ships on the Pacific side. It was nuts. I mean, I've never seen anything like it. I mean, I've seen ships kind of like hanging out around ports, but never that many. That was pretty, pretty crazy and pretty cool to see. So. French warship crossing our bow. Nerve of this guy. Is that a ham? Is that a warship? Battleship? That's a big bobo, huh? Trolling through 
and had been Back trolling. Area. I think we trolled all through the night. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, all of a sudden, we got a fishy. There it went. We got a fishy. We got a fishy. <laughs> You excited? Yeah. This is so exciting. Do you think it's big? Got the gap? Get the gap? Yes. Gap two now. I'm gonna have to pull, but I got a tuna. Got a tuna. Woo! 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 Thank goodness it wasn't a barracuda. <laughs> it was a tuna. Got it, man. Didn't know what it was going to be. It wasn't wasn't a massive fish, but it's a nice, perfect, perfect, perfect size for for us. Anything more than that, it's almost too much. It was like a 18 pound tuna. So got him to the boat, landed him. He. Uh, was pretty docile at first and then he went then he went nuts and got blood everywhere and made a mess but I don't want him to be alive for a little bit that way uh, when you bleed him it pumps the blood out and uh, gets all that, that blood out of their system there's a couple different spots you can cut them to where it bleeds them out because tuna are bloody fish so. sounds delicious but, uh, it was definitely wasn't complaining about cleaning up a mess because we Okay. We ate we ate well for the next couple of days. We had we a little bit of everything. We had straight straight sushi. We had tataki. Made had some rolls. Tuna steak then too. We had tuna steaks with the last bit of it. Marinated it. Ponzi sauce. Yeah. It was great. Good job, honey. So you can thank Striker because he's the one that's uh, good job Striker. on keeping a line in the water and checking it. Constantly got to check it for seaweed and it's it's work. It uh, is. You got to you got to stay on top of it. We ended up uh, pulling up to Portobello, which looked really beautiful, like the mountains and it was just all jungle. And I, I kind of like had this vision in my head because it's an old, uh, strong old port. Pulling into Portobello, um, you, you could see some of the old fortress walls and you could see uh, this really old, beautiful historic church. Um, yeah, there's like two or three forts that you can see as you're pulling in by boat. It's There's a handful of sunken boats. It's a little rough around the edges. It wasn't like any islands to yeah. go and hang out on. It's kind of... It's just kind of a historical, different kind of monumental place, place to check out. And which it was very colorful, the town. Very color, colorful and... Um, Main, main point here, though, is that a couple that was anchored, we anchored just inside of them, they came over to the boat because they saw the kids. Have you been over to Linton Bay? And we're like, no, actually. And they were the great restaurant, Panamarina, Marina, uh, beautiful anchorage, um, just good stuff. Turn around, literally just picked up the anchor, and got waved it. goodbye to the wonderful couple. Get <laughs> it out. <laughs> that told us to leave, and yeah, we had literally eight miles around the corner, back out, back out to sea, eight miles up the coast, back into a little another cove or another bay. And I gotta say, I'm glad that we did it because as soon as we pulled in, our friend was there, and uh, we hooked up with him, and he took us through the John Francis on John Francis SB Annabelle. We are in Linton Bay. Snatch it, buddy. And He's basically waiting for us so that he could uh, show us the way to Panama Marina, which is got this Super epic cool. uh, mangrove uh, canopy of mangrove trees that you, you, you this maze little zigzag channel that you go through. So cool. And it's just wide enough for like one dinghy to get through, and you yeah. could go full speed through here, just like zipping through. It do it with like a race car it's it's super cool it was pretty fun and that takes you to pan marina which is a uh, boat yard marina slash restaurant and 
I thought they had some of the best food I've eaten in Panama. So yeah, far. the kids had burgers, um, and they said it was the best burger that they've had thus far. Traveling for a couple days and stuff, it was nice to... It was nice, yeah. Yeah. Pretty cool place. Pisces. Pretty cool restaurant. Yeah, apparently the food is amazing. That we're about to see. It's right in the middle of a haul out yard, which is also right next to a marina, which is also right next to the anchorage. So, yeah. And then we got a good night's sleep. She explored our anchorage, checked it out, went over to Linton Bay Marina, checked that out. Got a little bit of energy back, not a lot. But still alive. Well, let's go check this out. See uh, the big lift over there. Discovered a few uh, monuments as well. Graveyard of sunken boats. I wouldn't want to put my anchor down over here. I, I feel like it has a bad uh, thing. Yeah. We found the monument of Jesus um, and. That was, uh, that was pretty cool. And how they up on the reef like that, that was wild. Yeah. Yeah. Try to get to it, but it was too shallow even in the dinghy. So we had to we got some good footage. Yeah. Yeah. I gotta say, Linton Bay, you know, I could just feel the spirit of Parley Revival, you know, <laughs> the whole time I was there. So. It's got a good, uh, it was a good great, community. Great setup for, for getting fuel too. Fuel yeah. was cheap there, good, easy access fuel dock. It's Topped really catered some... to sailors. Overall, I gotta say, Linton Bay was pretty cool. Great um, stop, great fit stop to make. Way more beautiful than I expected, for sure. So, yeah, so overall, uh, it was a good shakedown for the overnight passage. Um, the uh, puking passage. Yeah, Linton Bay, pretty cool, gotta say. That all rhymed. Episode 77 is a wrap, and until next week, the Mother Loop crew are out. But thank you so much for watching, and if you have not done so, please like and subscribe. Come back and see us next week. And to you, all of our patrons, we love you guys. Thank you so, so, so much. Super exciting things about to happen.